When you're looking at language or even thinking about language, there's sort of no separation in regards to you know our well-being on a on a physical, emotional, or spiritual level. When you start speaking language, you know you're reviving culture, and there's no separation. And it's yeah, it's very um, powerful. I started out with um, a lot of the elders, so a lot of my aunties. Their wish or their dreams was to revitalise language. It was just a way that they saw of healing our kids and bringing them back to spirituality, our spirituality. Aboriginal people, especially on um, areas that they're now reclaiming language, uh, you hear Aboriginal language being sung, the feeling that we haven't lost that language. Is, is something that does make me proud. Within the hospital, um, it's, it's really important that our language and, and the spirituality that we bring and our beliefs are echoed through the hospitals and through the health system. When Aboriginal people do go into hospitals, uh, we find it now that they see language on the building itself, before they even go in, uh, they do have a feeling of pride and, and also not a feeling of fear. When we're talking about the concept of health being emotional, physical, social and spiritual, a language has the ability to support well-being all across those elements connecting our mob back into country. It's really important and that supports their well-being. And I really love the fact that health has taken up the charge and really supporting language revitalisation because to, to keep it real, that's what needs to happen. <laughs>